Hi everyone. Today I am going to explain how to validate the form input in Spring Boot application. The first step I am going to download the project from Spring Boot Initializer web page. This is a Spring Initializer web page. You can bootstrap your application now. Here I am generating a Gradle project with Java and the Spring Boot version 2.0.3. Here the group name I am going to provide com dot talk to amareswaran dot projects and then the artifact name I am going to give validate demo. We need to add the Spring Boot starter web dependency for web development with the Tomcat and Spring MVC and then we need to add the time leaf for templating the engine. So these two dependencies we need to add it here and then click the generate project button your project will download after download your project extract the zip file and then import this gradle project into your eclipse in your eclipse you have to use the import option and then choose the existing gradle project option here and then click next next and provide the project root directory here click next next in this time the project will download the dependencies and then it will make the configurations after that click finish so in this case your dependencies will download from the maven repository after import the project successfully into your eclipse go to the build.gradle file and then make sure your dependencies are added and then the correct spring boot version is there or not here the spring boot version is 2.0.3 release and then we added the time leaf and the spring boot shorter web dependency here we need to add the two more dependency here. One is the Ibernet validator dependency and then another one is the Tomcat embedded dependency here. So now I am going to add it now. So these two dependencies we need to add it. One is the Ibernet validator and another one is the Tomcat embedded dependency. Now close the build.gradle file and right click it your project and do the gradle refresh so in this time so your newly added dependencies will download and then go to the source main directory and then you can find the main spring boot application class file with the annotated with the at spring boot application okay now i am going to add a model called user form user form okay here i am going to add the two variables one is the user name name and then another one is the age usually age represents in integer value so i would like to change the value i mean the age data type is integer now i am going to add the ibernet validator annotation for the name attribute the name should be not null and then the size should be minimum 2 and then the maximum 30 for name attribute and then the age the age should be the minimum value like 18 okay so for these two attributes i am going to create a setter and getter method for user model okay okay so so far we created the one user form model and then we annotated the two attributes name and age by using the ibernet validator annotations not null and then the size attribute and then the minimum value should be the 18 for the age 
next i am going to create a new controller class called web controller this web controller class should implements the web mvc configurer so for that we need to add the at controller annotation here so this class should implements web mvc configurer okay so here we can override the methods from web mvc configurer and also we can define the apis in this class file i defined one get mapping api with the default url pattern slash this method will return a form with the request object user form whoever calling the api i mean the slash this form will call this form represents it will load the form dot html or jsp files from the templates folder and also here i define one post mapping api check user info this post mapping api will accepts the user form as a request body and then it has the binding result binding result is an validation object will bind the errors okay if the binding result object has the errors then the control will go again to the form page otherwise it will redirect to the results page for this redirect we need to add the view controller for this redirect view results page okay so this is the post mapping api now i am going to write the redirect template viewer controller here this is the view controller method i mean the add view controller method will bind the results i mean will bind the redirect results form into the results page it will redirect to the results page okay so this is the add view controller we need to add it as a view name to set the view name and view controller for the redirect apis the next step we have to create the form.html file under the templates folder so here under the templates folder create a new html file the name is form so here i am going to create a new html file name called form.html file okay look at here in the form.html file i created one simple html inside the body there is a form tag i used okay form action should be i used hash but i used the th colon action of slash and then the object is the user form method is post whenever you submitting the form this action will call the post mapping api will call with the user form object so here in the table row i added the name field with the input text field for the name so whatever the user form have the attributes name i used here the name and also if any errors is happen in the name field so you can bind the errors here field dot as errors of name attribute and then you can bind the errors here th colon errors and then the name attribute star curly brace of name so by using this th attributes tags you can show the error messages if any validation error messages is happen okay the next one is the age the same like the age field is also the user info form age attribute if any field has the errors of age attribute then the errors will display here and then there is a submit button okay 
the next HTML file we need to create results.html file this results.html file is once the validation is done without any errors this page will call otherwise the form page will call and then the validation messages you can see in the form page itself in the results.html file I am going to add the new tags in results.html file I added the simple body tag congratulations your age is matched to sign up for this site okay once the user form is submitted if any errors the error will display in the form page itself otherwise the results.html file will call so look at here congratulations your age okay your age is matched to sign up for this site that's all next we can run the application okay in this is the valid demo application class file annotated with the actor spring boot application class file here i use the build.gradle file so if you want to run it by using a build you can use the gradle clean build command otherwise you can run the application by using run as java application here i am going to use run as java application okay so look at here application is started to running you can see the application status whether the tomcat has started or not in the console log so look at here in our case tomcat started on the port 8080 with the context report is empty and then the application validate demo application is started on 9.202 seconds okay now i am going to hit the url in the browser this web controller url will call for get mapping the form page will display the form contains the table column with the form inputs name and age look at here in the web browser i hit the url localhost colon 8080 the form page has been displayed name and age now i am going to submit this form so look at here size must be between 2 to 30 the name the name length should be must be between 2 and 30 okay now i am going to provide it here just a the same error message is showing now i am going to provide it here a m a r amar congratulations your age is matched to sign up for this site but it's not taking the age value so for that age value we miss something we need to find out so look at here in the user form we added only the minimum value should be 18 but it should accept the null value so if you are not giving the age so it's accepting so we need to add the one more annotation in the age attribute not null so then it will throw an error message for each column now i am going to terminate this and then i am going to start the application once again okay so run as java application so it's starting now so look at here again i started the tomcat tomcat started on the port 8080 the application is started on 7.776 seconds you can see the application status in the console log so look at here okay now i am going to reload the page once again so look at here i reloaded the page once again now i am going to submit here so look at here age must not be null and then the name attribute size must be between 2 to 30 now i am going to provide it here amar and then here i am going to provide the age is 10 so look at here must be greater than or equal to 18 so should be i giving 18 here so look at here congratulations your age is matched to sign up for this site so here we can validate the form input by using the spring boot application thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel like my videos share my videos
Thank you.